What's up everybody, JJ here. Today we're finally getting around to it. I'm finally gonna sound treat the closet in here. I've already created the top-down camera rig in there and it works amazing. But while I'm putting all this effort into it, I thought might as well run this experiment that I've always wanted to run. Acoustic foam panels versus a common bath towel. So let's get right into rigging this up and running these tests. And now on to the mounting method. For the foam panels, I bought some, pe some foam boards. These are just black foam boards I picked up at Target. And I'm gonna glue the foam panels onto the pegboard with some, this is just some tacky glue that I got. That way I'm not gonna be gluing directly onto the walls and the pegboards, I'll just use some finishing nails to nail the foam boards into the wall. That way it should be less holes in the wall than if I just use the finishing nails directly into the wall through the foam. The towels on the other hand, I am just gonna be using finishing nails directly into the wall. Since these cover such a large area, I should only need about two, maybe four tacks in the wall to hold them up. So now let's go over to the closet. First we have to run a control test. So this is the control test of me talking into the camera. The, the microphone is pointed into kind of this echo box that is this closet. So this should be fairly echoey. I'm gonna put the unedited audio in for these sections. This is the control. So now on to the towel portion of this test. And it already sounds so much better in here. I don't hear the echo in my own ear. So I'm wondering how the microphone will pick this up. Again, unedited audio. I'll mark it at the bottom of this video. I'll mark it somewhere down here probably, but I'll do edited version versus unedited to see how much, I know a little bit of tweaking always makes the audio better and it's kind of unrealistic to do just unedited audio. This is the towel test. And now onto the foam version of this test. Some of these foam boards need to be cut down. Luckily it's just foam, so I can just score it and break it, flip it over, score through it. Nice and easy. Now the last panel is done, we'll let it dry before we mount it on the wall. And now that all the panels are dry, they're ready to be mounted, I'm gonna use the same finishing nails that I used last time to just peg them up to the wall. And the first panel's mounted. After I got them all mounted, I kinda like the spacing I did over here. So I'm gonna end up changing it over here to make it match. Just moving this one a little bit farther to the right. But I guess before I do move anything, I should run the test to see if this foam panel works as well as the other one. So I'm in the same position. Test, test, mic test, one, two. Foam panels on all the walls, same as with the towels. Testing to see if this controls the echo as well. It seems better than the control, but I'm not sure from my ear if it's as good as the towels. The towels worked really well. But I'll need to take these files into the computer so I can test them side by side. I'll now play them back to back so you can really compare them and that way you can make the call yourself. So this is the control test of me talking into the camera and now it's time for the towel portion of this test. Test, test, mic test, one, two. Foam panels on all the walls, same as with the towels. So this is the control test of me talking into the camera and now it's time for the towel portion of this test. Test, test, mic test, one, two. Foam panels on all the walls, same as with the towels. So let me go check this footage out and I'll be right back. And now I'm back from editing and looking at those clips that you just watched. And all I gotta say is, wow, I was not expecting those results. I wasn't expecting the towels to do so good compared to the foam. I think the towels and the foam are comparable in their ability to take down the echo in a room. They both sound so good, the towels and the foam panels. I can't really tell much of a difference between them. And since these look so good, and I already have them, if I had to buy these or use towels that I already owned, I would just get some black towels to put up here. The red towels I know didn't match my theme with purple background and bright red towels. If I was starting fresh on this project with no materials already and the knowledge I know now, I would just buy some black towels, put them up against the wall. The texture of the towels knocks down the sound as well as sound panels. These sound panels do look really good in here, but for the price, don't waste your money on these. These are old ones that I've had for a while, 
and that's why I'm using them. But for the rest of the studio now, I do need to sound treat the whole space. I'm probably going to be incorporating some towels on the wall in select places. I'm definitely not going to be buying any more of these because they're overpriced for what they do for my quality. I'm sure there's some audio engineer reasons out there to use them, but I'm not that great at editing audio and I think the towels sound just as good as these. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Go back and listen to all those clips and let me know which one was your favorite because maybe you have a better ear than I do, so I'd love to hear if I'm making the wrong choice here. Let me know. But that about wraps up this test and this is the solution that I decided to go with. If you stuck through this far into the video and you found it useful, please hit that like and subscribe down below. It lets other people know that this was a video worth watching and it lets them see this video and they'll get use out of it as well. But anyway, thank you for watching and if you're interested in more videos on this closet, I built this top-down rig and I made a separate video on it. I'll link that one so you can go check it out after this one.